Okay guys, dalam bahagian ni pula, saya akan continue whatever that we have learned from the first part. Kita still dekat topik redox. Dalam topik redox ni, I have told you in my previous video, part 1, saya dah cerita pasal the oil rig. Oil rig, kalau ingat lagi, okay. Oil rig stand for oxidation is lose electron. Reduction is gain electron. So, kita dah belajar benda ni. Okay. So, what I'm gonna teach you now, kadang juga dalam previous video, guys, I have told you about the cation. Saya dah beritahu cation, when you have a zero, become positive, positive become zero. Kita dah belajar ni. If po zero become positive, ini adalah oxidation. And kalau positive become zero, this is reduction. Please, yeah, guys, you can hafal formula in it. You must know about this formula. Now, I'm going to teach you about the anion. In this particular video, uh, I'm going to part two, I'm going to teach you anion. We take a simple example, Cl. Electron arrangement dia adalah 2, 8, 7. And guys, again, This is atom ni, it called as a neutral atom. Dia dipanggil sebagai atom yang neutral sebab dia tidak ada charge. Dan juga kenapa dia neutral? If you look over here guys, in this particular things, you ada, kita ada 17 proton and we have 17 electron. 17 proton and 17 electron. Kalau kita tambah this, when we sum both of these, we will got a zero. That's why this is called as a neutral atom because it have same number of protons and electron. Okay, yang ni kita tahulah. Same number of proton and electron. Very good. So, now I'm going to teach you Kalau kita tengok, dia tidak mempunyai susunan elektron octet. It doesn't have a stable octet electron arrangement eh, atau configuration. Therefore, dia tak ada cara lain. Dia akan jadi, dia akan jadi, it become Cl negative. Cl negative ni, it is because dia gain electron lah. And it become 2, 8, 8. This is octet. And it is stable. Dia dah octet. Dan dia sangat stabil. <coughs> Jadi what happened guys. Again yeah, I would like to ask you. For this thing. They are negatively charged. Negatively charged. This is what we call as the anion. This is what we call as the anion. Dia adalah satu anion. Kenapa dia anion guys? Kenapa dia anion? Ini adalah disebabkan. Dia ada 17 proton. Because, dalam tindak belas ni, kita hanya tukar total proton. Eh, total proton remain unchanged. Tetapi, electron adalah the things that we change. The total electron being changed. It become, dari, dia terima satu electron as you can calculate over here. Dia jadi 18 electron. Now, look at the mathematics. Uh, plus 17 positive proton. Tambah 18 elektron, kamu dapat negative 1. You dapat negative 1. That's why dia bercharge negative over here. So, what do you mean by N ion? Adalah something that have a more elektron. You have more elektrons than the proton. Than the protons. Eh? Ini kena ingat. So, what apa kaitan ini? Dengan our uh, redox, yeah? oil rig tu, senang je. Guys, when you have a pause zero and it become negative, negative, as you can see, they gain electron. They gain electron. Therefore, dari sini ke sini, dia sebenarnya gain electron. Dia terima electron. Dia terima electron, ingat lagi oil rig, the oil rig of reduction is gain electron. Maka, di sini dia mengalami reduction. And 
on the other hand kalau kita reverse kalau kita reverse 288 become 287 dia jadi 287 maka dia buang elektron lose elektron eh uh, dia lose elektron bila dia lose elektron oil rig oxidation is lose electron maka dia lose electron adalah oxidation process therefore what i'm trying to say over here conclusion eh for n ion you done tadi dah buat dengan cat ion okay very good now i'm going to do with n ion kalau dia daripada kosong jadi negative it's undergo reduction Okay, reduction. Then, kalau negative jadi kosong, negative become zero, it is a oxidation. Guys, this is extremely important for your or redox reaction. This is for anion and this is for cation. Guys, please, please take note of this basic things. Kamu kena tahu dua perubahan ini. Iaitu kamu kena tahu kosong jadi positive oxidation. Positive jadi kosong jadi reduction. Kosong jadi negative reduction. Negative jadi kosong di ala oxidation. So guys, this is my second part of the video. So I will do and uh, continue the next part. Please stay tuned. Saya tak nak buat video yang panjang because it's uh, nanti kamu pun jadi boring. So guys, if you have any question, ada soalan, tinggalkan dekat comment questions. I will reply as soon as possible. Dan juga guys, if you uh, do you want to communicate with me, you boleh juga pergi dekat Instagram saya uh, dr. Hussein H-U-S-S E-I-N Hussein underscore chemistry. You can communicate with me in this Instagram. Okay, guys, stay tuned and thank you so much for watching the video.